Ciao a tutti amaciolo, welcome to a new video, today I show you all the releases of October 2021. Before starting this video, please remember to hit the like button, share this video and subscribe to the channel. Let's go! Play your character as you would in a tabletop role-playing game, minding about the world, the rules, the monsters and the challenges that the game proposes. Fight in a classical turn-based combat system, where you can build your own fighting Let's begin this month with something quite original. Myst Legacy is an indie MMO RPG developed by a very small team, who previously released Terrian Saga, with a precise idea in mind. The keyword of the game is clearly freedom, because in Myst Legacy you can do essentially whatever you want. It has a very nice art style, with a fascinating top view world, team based combat, skill based progression and skill distribution crafting. Miss Legacy is already available in early access on Steam from the 5th of October. And grow your reputation with the many factions and rulers. This is one of the most promising RPGs we've been following for a long time. Vagra's The Riven Realms is a fantastic and dark open world with choices that will change the curse of events so that each game will be different from the other. On our blog you can find an interview with the developers and also a preview based on the early access version of the game. Vagra's The Riven Realms is already available on Steam. And even free build undead. Vagrus is first and foremost an RPG, with elements of strategy in the form of crew and Imperium's Age of Alexander. Big expansion of the Forex Grand Strategy Imperium's Greek Wars. 18 playable factions. Summon your courage and assume leadership of one of the 18's faction to stand up to Alexander's war machine. Can you alone or with the help of others turn the Macedonian tide, or will you to succumb? Perhaps you'll let your ego take over and, as Alexander, try to earn the title The Great by crushing other nations under your heel. Imperium's Age of Alexander DLC is already available on Steam. Generals in History of Humankind of nightmarish immortal sweeps across the land, slaughtering all who would oppose them. Your goal is to assemble the perfect team to explore the furthest reaches of the drowned land in a tale of heroic fantasy and take part in a lot of team-based tactical fights. Heal and Glory Firstborn will be out of the early access from today on Steam. And the battles they fought in will not be forgotten once more the firstborn are bound We finally found you. Hidden within society. Quoting the description on Steam, we'll learn that Puppet Monster is a team based strategy game where you lead a secret society towards world domination. Investigate the influential and convert them to your faction via bribery, seduction, and intimidation. Reshape society's power structures to fend off rival societies and the world's nation in your quest for power. The Shadow Government Simulator will be available from the 12th of October in early access on Steam. Any last words? <laughs>
Raiders is a team-based tactical roguelike in which you command military squad on a no-return journey into the ruins of an ancient civilization. Explore ruins, demon-infested depths and more while upgrading your riders with unlockable gear before facing bosses that hide in the abyss. Rune Raiders is expected on the 14th of October 2021 on Steam. Stolen Realm is a tactical team-based RPG but not the usual one. The game has for sure some good points like a simultaneous team team base for faster paced combat, a really evocative low poly art style, a cop mode with up to 6 online players and also an entire world to explore, where you can gather materials and craft objects, fishing, building a castle and so on. In other words, a must for every team base fan out there. Stolen Realm is expected on the 14th of October on Steam. After so many movies, what is synonymous with cool, especially when you can be one of them sitting on a couch without risking your own life and with the use of a simple mouse. So be happy, because in a few weeks your dream may become true. Tactical Combat Department is a tactical team based strategy game where you command a special intervention squad called to operate in very special situations and environments. During your tense team based missions, you'll have to consider the psychological reactions of both civilians and suspects, choose between a stealth or an action approach, secure as soon as possible all suspects and civilians. Tactical Combat Department is expected on Steam for the 14th of October in Early Access. Dungeon Encounters is a unique dungeon exploration RPG in which you lead an expedition to chart the depths of an order-worldly labyrinth. Plan and prepare to overcome numerous obstacles, solve puzzles and defeat monsters. Strategize to survive. Dungeon Encounters is expected on 14th of October 2021 on Steam. Peggy 12. Welcome to the harsh lands of Gloomhaven, recruit. You think you have what it takes to become a mercenary out there on the edge of the world? We are paid to venture into the darkest forests of the region and to step into ancient crypts with the unmistakable... It's possible that some of you already know a board game named Gloomhaven, so they might be already have a rough idea of what this trust position will bring on PC in the near future. At its core, Gloomhaven is a sort of mix between a tactical RPG and a dungeon crawler. If you like true strategy games and are not scared by some occasional headache, then go and buy this great game without hesitation. Gloomhaven will be out of the early access from the 20th of October on Steam. Do you think it's possible to mix together zombies, cards and survival features? Don't waste your time thinking for the right answer, just try Cards of the Dead. The game blends adventure features with survival mechanics in a world infested with zombies, where your true aim is to make your way to a biological complex and retrieve the sample of a vaccine. Cards of the Dead is expected for the 21st of October on Steam. From a new dawn, a 
hero rises. Torn between two worlds, yet part of none. The first Disciples was published by Strategy First back in 1999, followed by many sequels. At its core, Disciples is a turn-based strategy game with RPG elements similar to games like Heroes of Might and Magic. Obviously, since 1999, the series has made a lot of progress with more emphasis on the RPG aspects of the game. I'm sure that if you like Heroes of Might and Magic, then you'll love also this one. Disciples Liberation is expected for the 21st of October on Steam. A dystopia and very grim future where machines try to prevail on humanity starting a bloody and gruesome war. Part roguelite, part tactical RPG, Rise of Humanity is finally ready to launch its early access version on Steam from the 21st of October. Originally published in the 2016, Darkest Dungeon was one of the best and most innovative turn-based games of the last decades. The game boasted a truly fascinating grim and dark setting and a unique art style, imitated by many other games to come. So now, after a very long waiting in just a few weeks, we will finally be able to put our hands on the sequel. Unlikely, we don't know much about it, but we can imagine that it will be here as rattless as the first chapter with an abundant quantity of blood and amputated limbs. Daga's Dungeon 2 is expected for the 26th of October on Epic Games. From the spreading stain of the darkest dungeon. about to take the first steps of your adventure. Through a realm of sword and sorcery you will travel, battling bloodthirsty monsters as you strive to realize your ambitions. I have every faith you will accomplish great things here. Voice of Cards The Isle Dragon Rose is an RPG set in a world of swords and sorcery, told entirely through the medium of cards. The story follows a self-proclaimed hero as they set off to slay a recently awakened dragon, presented in a manner of a tabletop RPG and playing out through narration from the Game Master. Voice of Cards The Isle Dragon Rose is expected on the 28th of October on PC, PS4 and Nintendo Switch. Okay, I know that there are maybe too many deck building card battles out there, but at least this one tries to use a quite original law for the gem. Without big surprises, Ancient Gods by Xpion is a deck building and a gacha game fused together. We must get a goal to unlock new gods from different cultures and mix them with our cards. A solid card battle mechanics with events to face. Ancient Gods is expected sometimes on Steam during October. Engage in tactical 
turn-based battles. Assassinate your enemies. Exploit the enemy's weaknesses. Void Eclipse is a team-based strategy in an immersive sci-fi world. You are an android with scattered memories in search of your mysterious origins. Explore the stars, evolve your army and fight an alien threat. Help Carters or harm them. Will you be feared, admired or respect? Void Eclipse is expected sometimes during October on Steam. Develop a reputation. This video has come to an end, please let me know what you think about these games in the comments below, remember to hit the like button, share this video and subscribe to the channel. Wish you the best, ciao!